Welcome to Investigators of Arkham. I'm JP from Not the Lights over Arkham, and this time I'll be overlooking the brand new investigator Dexter Drake. Let's get started. If you like my content, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Dexter Drake was first released in the novella Blood of Baal Shandor, released in June 2020. He will get his Arkham Horror card game expansion box version in the upcoming InSmart Conspiracy Deluxe expansion coming out later this year. Dexter Drake, the magician, is a mystic. He has 5 willpower, 2 knowledge, 3 strength and 2 agility. He has the sorcerer and veteran traits. He has 6 health and 8 sanity. He has the free triggered ability during your turn, discard an asset you control, play an asset with a different title from your hand, reducing its cost by one. Limit one spare round. His elder sign effect is plus two. You may return an asset from your play area to your hand, then draw a card. I will also clarify that you will draw a card with the elder sign effect even if you don't return an asset into your hand. Dexter's deck size is 30 cards. He can take mystic cards level 0 to 5, rogue cards level 0 to 2, and neutral cards level 0 to 5. His signature cards are showmanship and occult scraps, but so far we only have his replacement cards Molly Maxwell and Yastaroth to play with. Let's look at Dexter's replacement signature cards. Molly Maxwell is a 3 cost asset. She has the ally and assistant traits. She commits to 1 willpower icon, 1 agility icon and 1 wild icon. She is Dexter Drake deck only, replacement. She has the free triggered ability, exhaust Molly Maxwell and deal her 1 horror. Name a trait, one at a time, reveal cards from the top of your deck, until an asset with the name trait is revealed. Draw that asset. Shuffle each other revealed card back into your deck. She has two health and four sanity. She takes up the ally slot. Molly is an amazing ally card. Her cost of three is pretty cheap for what you get. With her in play, you can search for key assets from your deck you really need to get your, into your hand. She has a lot of health and sanity to soak up damage and horror too. You better start learning the specific traits on your assets to maximize her usefulness. Next, let's look at Yastaroth. Yastaroth has the curse and pack traits. Dexter Drake deck only. Replacement. Revelation put Yastroth into play in your threat area. You cannot put assets into play. Double action, discard Yastroth. Yastroth is a pretty mild signature weakness. It will shut down the asset juggling, but you might pull Yastroth late in the game when you have all the necessary assets already in play, and if you need to get rid of Yastroth, you can just use the double action to discard it. I have pulled Yastaroth in almost every game with Dexter so far, and it has never been a big hindrance. Dexter is the first mystic with a rogue of class in Arkham Horror the card game. This opens up new and interesting deck building possibilities. Dexter's willpower 5 makes him a strong mystic spellcaster, who can do basically anything with the right assets in play. His strength of 3 also makes his fighting with weapons decent. Dexter's weak spot is his agility, so evading or passing agility-based tests will be hard. You can work around this weak spot having right cards in your deck to deal with it. Dexter decks tend to be asset-heavy, but you don't want to go overboard with the assets. You should build your deck around a few key assets and have cheap disposable assets that don't take up slots 
so you can juggle them for more important tasks when needed. Overall, Dexter is a really fun investigator to play, either through solo or in a multiplayer game. The asset juggling will take some practice, but after a few games you will start to see when to use Dexter's ability most effectively. You can check out what kind of decks I've built for Dexter in my Dexter playthrough series through the Web of Dreams campaign. I'll add a link to the playlist to the end of the video, so you can go and see how Dexter plays. I hope you found this investigator overview helpful. Let me know what you think about Dexter and his cards in the comments below. Have you already played Dexter? If you have a cool deck idea, let me know and I might try it out. Thanks for watching and until next time.